Penn State D. You got to have a little more confidence going against their defense with what you did last week. Yeah, definitely. Uh, being able to run the ball, how you ran the ball, and even in the past game, get some stuff off. But definitely, uh, definitely confident, more confident this week, and just really excited to just go back on Saturday again and keep trying to perform and keep building these things. Like what we know we've been missing at, we know we want to keep improving, and we're just excited to get the opportunity to keep doing that. This is one of Nico's really big games two years ago. Mm -hmm. How much has he meant to you guys in the wide receiver room? Yeah, Nico means everything to us. That's our, that's our vet. That's our leader. Um, he always knows what to say, the right thing to say, and he just leads by example. Everything he does, he works hard. And, you know, we're, we're happy that we get to play that video back and we see Nico <laughs> run that naked over, score a touchdown, and watch the crowd go crazy. So Nico means a lot to this receiver group. How many times have you watched that? Uh, we watch it often because, you know, it's always, on, it's always on social media. You know, it's been up a couple of times. So we'll probably watch it sometime in uh, film today and stuff like that just because, you know, it's an exciting play for us. As a, as a competitor, how much do you love going against? I mean, they got cornerbacks that are going to be playing in the NFL soon. Yeah, they got NFL players are over here. So, as a competitor, how much do you relish this chance to play against you know some of the elite players in the country? Yeah, I love I love being able to go out there and play versus those corners. You know, those just to show my ability as well because there's going to be a lot of eyes on that game. So just to be able out there to just run some good routes and show that I can beat great corners like that uh, would definitely help rise me as a player and give me a lot more confidence throughout every other game throughout this season. Obviously awful that Luke goes down on Saturday, not expecting to see him this weekend, maybe the rest of the season. Um, what do Addison and, and Steve do well, Steven do well? Yeah, those are great players. They are great blockers. Addy has probably one of the best hands I've seen. He makes great catches all the time. So it's definitely hard losing Luke because, you know, he just brings a lot of presence on the field. Uh, people got to double team him, brings us a lot of attention and stuff like that. But those two guys, I know they're going to step up. They've stepped up all year and practice. They ball out all the time. So I have so much confidence that they're going to go out there and just play their butts off. At what point did you inform K that was your first career touchdown? Because he said he did not believe <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Right after we got in, I said, appreciate you giving my first one. He was like, that's your first one? I'm like, yeah, man. It took a little, took some games to get that first one. So, yeah, definitely it was cool to get there. What's that moment like? I mean, you just been trying to get on the field and stay healthy yeah. for so long just to to have that moment and spread the arms that, that just had to be everything yeah that that was everything to me just um just a true testament of just like you know keeping your head down and just keep working and um yeah my, my uncle had passed a week ago so that's why i got the pink hair and stuff like that so when i put my arms up and i looked up i was looking up to him because it just felt like i felt him over me at that moment i'm guessing you had a pretty strong relationship with him yeah that was yeah he called me superstar so it was a hard one when uh, he passed but yeah, so it was, it was cool to finally get in the end zone a week later after he passed and just felt like that was for him. Felt like a little divine intervention. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Was that uh, yeah. a surprise? I mean, oh, he had, he had cancer. Oh, he had cancer. Yeah, sorry. that's why I died of purple for the cancer. Okay. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Appreciate it. Uh, how is the passing game looking with the crowd noise? I'm sure you have to <laughs> yeah. deal with that here in practice. Yeah, that's going to be a, a task for sure. He's trying to get, you know, get the kill signals that's off and... Um, yeah. Probably just even hearing the play in the huddle is probably going to be a task for us. So, um, you know, we've got to be detail focused, locked in on what K is giving the plays, giving us, and um, even maybe have to look at the signals a little bit coming in so we know what's kind of going on. But we've been, we've been going around practice. All the plays have been going well. Uh, no false starts. We're hearing all the plays. We're getting all the signals good. So everything's looking good right now. And our confidence is going to look good on Saturday. Did you get a lot of props for your blocking this past weekend in the <laughs> film room? I, I got some love. Yeah, I got yeah. some love for the couple of blocks I got. You know, that's my job, though. So I uh, can't get too much love for it because I got to do it. But definitely got some love from Cope. Yeah. I mean, that's not why you play football probably initially. But yeah. It is a big deal here. It is right? a big deal, definitely. You know, spring the running backs and uh, let them have days like they had last week. Mm -hmm. that, that Screen pass to Leshawn Green. You made that happen down the field, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leshawn, you know, great play, great call by Brian. Uh, They're running a blitz aggressive too. He got got off on it, and then just doing my job, like I said, just being out there blocking, knowing that I know that Leshawn's gonna have a lot of opportunity to get this one in the end zone. So just doing my job to make sure he did get in the end zone. This is fairly close to home for you, yeah. at least in terms of Big Ten. Um, yeah. Got a lot of people coming. Yeah, I got a lot of family coming out to the games, so, uh, friends and stuff like that. So excited for them to finally get to watch me play in person. They have one of the best secondaries in the country. Yeah. Um, what, what's the challenge going up against 
Kalen King, those guys like that. Yeah, those are great, great corners. So we're gonna have to use all of our tools that we've been, you know, uh, going through from the off season to practice now to be able to beat those guys in one on one coverage. They like to play, press up, play a little offhand, jam man, stuff like that. So we're going to have to be physical versus them because they're great corners with great speed. So it's definitely going to be a task for us, and I know all the receivers are ready for that task. You're a guy who knows a lot about fashion. What do you think of the black pants? <laughs> yeah, the black pants are cool. I'm happy we got, got a little swag going to us this week. <laughs> yeah. So with, with the passing of your uncle, did anybody, any family members say anything to you before the game about it to play for him or, or anything like that? Nah, nah, they just – uh. You know, no one really texted me saying anything about that. I just felt like that's something that was in my mind. You know, sure. just my yeah, I just wanted to perform and uh, just know that he's watching over me. He's just he been asked me for a touchdown for a while now, mm -hmm. so it was just it was cool to finally get that one, and I just know he was watching down. You tore your ACL and then you broke your hand. What what kept you going through those times? Achilles, but Achilles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, you know just. Family, family, friends, the coaches here, these good guys just like kept me around, kept me involved in everything. So I never got too low at anything. And just knowing that like I love football. So just knowing that I wanted to get back out here and be able to help the team and be able to play the sport that I love so much, uh, just kept me driving, kept me just coming out here every day. Even when I was on a little scooter pushing around, just knowing that this can't happen forever. So something something shall pass and I was like, so it just kept me going to know that this is my this is my love. I love doing this stuff. So, what's your relationship like with your mom? I know she was here for the past three weeks. Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite person in the world. Uh, we got the best relationship ever. Um, she does everything for me. Anything I need, she'll get done for me. Um, and you know, just her coming out here for three weeks, just to watch me three weeks in a row, just means the world to me. You know, taking off of work just to come out here to watch her son play. Getting to uh, score my first touchdown, just experiencing that with her after the game, just hugging her and just like it's been a long time coming, so it's been awesome. Yeah, she's been she's been great on social media all these years. So, <laughs> yeah. so a nurse, so you know she's you know she works hard. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, what's it like? I'm sure you've already answered this, but playing nearby in the same region anyway yeah. that you you uh, grew up. I mean, you can have extra family or extra friends there. Yeah, definitely have extra family, extra friends. Uh, probably. Maybe 40 plus people over there for me, so that'll be exciting to try to play in front of them. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to play in front of them and excited to play in front of all the people there too. So it's gonna be a great opportunity. How do you not let the moment get too big? It's gotta be just level headed. Um, it's just, a, just another game of football. Can't make it too big, can't make it too little. It's gotta just be the same regular game. Regular game. You've been out here putting all this work in and you just know what you're capable of doing. So can't let it get too big where you start getting a little antsy. You might have some butterflies in the game, but that's just cause what it is. But you still gotta know that all the work that you put in led you to that moment. You gotta be confident. The secondary's probably on the same level as maybe Iowa State's or your guys' secondary. Um, what? What do you think you're how do you think you guys are gonna to have to compete collectively in order to advance the ball against a really good secondary? Like yeah, we're gonna to have to be disciplined and execute uh, a lot. So they're they're definitely great and they're athletic. They got people all across the board. So receiver wise, we're definitely gonna have to be physical versus the corners. We're gonna to have to use a lot of our tools. It's not gonna be able to just try to run by somebody. They're they're great, they mirror technique well. So we're gonna to have to be able to do what we've been practicing and implement that in the game. Like you were talking about, you can't get too high where you're kind of being out there with bad feet, bad technique. Mm -hmm. So it's going to all come come together from practice to that game and just keeping a level head. So you might be competing against a, a first rounder, the yeah. King, you know, I think he's considered that. And, uh, you know, now with the offense losing Luke, how much more do you think the wide receivers are going to be maybe building a part of it? Yeah, it's hard lo losing, losing Luke. That's a great uh, tight end for us, great player, great leader. So uh, it's sad seeing him get injured and missing out some games. But receivers, we know we got to step up. Um, it's an opportunity for us to go out there and make names for ourselves versus a great defense, great secondary. Um, the whole world's going to be watching this. So it's going to definitely be something that we want to do and we have to do. So we're excited, and I'm excited for all of our receivers because I know we can make plays, and I know a lot of us are going to make some plays. What's the best piece of advice you could give Luke about you know, going through the process? he's going to go through. I mean, I'm not going to bring up your story, but we yeah. already know. But yeah. what would you kind of say to him? Um, so I, I texted Luke after. I told him that, like, uh, he's going to have the big, biggest comeback, the greatest comeback story that they'll talk about forever. It's going to be a legendary comeback for Luke. I already know it. Um, he's, when he comes back, he's going to be stuff that he just, he's still going to be the same person. So I can't really give him too many wise words on it. I just know that 
Uh, he's got to keep his head, and he, I know he's going to keep his head, and I know he loves this game so much that he's going to come back to it and just be as dominant as ever. So I truly think he'll have the greatest comeback story that Iowa people will talk about forever. Say so you're still smiling on the sidelines after yeah, the game. Yeah, he came back on the bench. That's you see it like nothing happened. Exactly. That's the type of guy he is. He's going to get his surgery. He's going to be all good, and he'll be back in the building smiling, cheering us on, and still being the great leader that he is. Talking about the receiver group, Caleb Brown finally got his first touch this yeah. last weekend. Um, could you see his reaction? Did you talk to him at all afterwards? Was yeah, he... he was running. After he got the run, he was running by me. And I was like, gave him high fives. A great run, boy. And he's smiling. So <laughs> it was uh, it was cool for, for him to get his first touch. We're excited for him. And he's going to get many more touches as the guys, these games go on. And he's going to make plays. He's a great player, um, really great receiver, great with the ball. So I'm excited for Caleb and see how this keeps going for him. When did you first get into sports? Thank you. Yeah. Nice um, answer. 